New tonight excitement mounting about the release of a major motion picture. It features the life of a famous figure with deep roots here in Colorado. It's called Cabrini. If I made you the first woman ever to lead an overseas mission, the whole world would look to you as proof of what woman can or cannot accomplish. The movie will open at 3,000 theaters nationwide on March 8th. The Mother Cabrini Shrine sits near Lookout Mountain along I-70 and pays tribute to Francis Xavier Cabrini, a saint in the Catholic Church. Your reporter in the foothills, Alan Janae, visited the site to talk about how this biopic may attract huge attention. Lording over Denver, the statue of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Mother Cabrini Shrine draw over 100,000 people a year. Lately, there's a little more excitement. It's a big deal. This is probably going to be a really inspirational story. Madre, un telegramma dal Vaticano. It captures basically Mother's presence here. In the chapel at the shrine, Father John Lager shares great esteem for Mother Cabrini. The call to serve those who were less fortunate than her changed everything in her life. The movie starring Christiana Delana and John Lithgow. So you let a woman push you around. Is mostly set in New York, where Mother Cabrini first arrived from Italy, told by the Pope to go and help Italian immigrants. And she didn't even get a lot of cooperation in New York initially. No, not at all. She followed you know, where the immigrants went. They went to Chicago, then they came to Denver. Helping children most, she opened the Queen of Heaven Orphanage, which was near present-day I-70 in Federal. Tiny and sickly all her life, she was somehow a force. She was small but mighty, and I think her shoes kind of show that. In the museum at the shrine that has some of Mother Cabrini's few possessions, Executive Director Joanne Seaman is thinking about the potential of the movie. It is a gift, and it's, um, I think it's an invitation. Today, there are far fewer of the missionary sisters of the Sacred Heart of Jesus in Colorado, but the mission lives on. Are you worried about getting overrun here? There could be so much excitement. <laughs> that would be a good problem to have. I am a woman, and I am Italian. And we are all human beings. We are all the same. It is less a religious movie than an inspirational one but sharing the story is a lofty purpose. This is not her whole life of holiness, but it's a, it captures in, her indomitable spirit. You know? yeah. So it's just a really beautiful thing. In Jefferson County, Alan Janae covering Colorado first.